Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, your beloved Vigo man here, and welcome back to Let's Build the Castle Chateau de Rennes. Today, we're going to be working on the back here, which I'm currently placing down some colorful wool, making this place look really fancy. We're going to build two main towers. We're going to build a part of the battlement, which is a battle tower, and also the maester's tower, which will be super fun to do the furnishing on together with you guys. Most of this is done in live stream, so if you want to check that out, just go to my channel and to videos, and you'll find a live stream replays of most of this. I actually managed to lose a little bit of footage of me building the pink tower, you can see, the battlement tower. Uh, so you won't see that in the timeline, so I hope you guys don't mind that, but the rest is all captured, and yeah, gonna be really fun to do together with you guys. This episode turned out to be really, really cool. I'm gonna start off here by building the small, uh, smaller part of this building here, which is kind of just walkways to get through different parts, but also used for storage. Um, and also there's a way for to get to the battery from here. So this is kind of just like some corridors to connect everything up, but it's also used for storage. Uh, yeah, and it works really fine. And then in front here we have this diagonal battlement, where we're just gonna have a small crenellation, kind of to protect ourselves from the back as well, uh, for some extra defense here. Which turns out to be a really cool addition, I think. So now, we should actually be building on the battle tower, but as I said, I lost the footage of that. So we're gonna just get straight to the maester's tower, which is a big orange one, which you can see I'm currently building on. And we're gonna use a lot of details in this one. And I want this tower to look really fancy and kind of stick a little bit out, because this is more of the, one of the more important and more unique towers of this castle here. So I use a lot of time on on detailing and stuff. You can see that we have this outsticking part all the way around, and that gives the measures a little bit of a bigger living quarters up in the tower here, and it also looks really fine from a distance so that's something I'm really happy about the small extended part on the side here then we're gonna have a small roof and then we're gonna have a thinner part like another tower inside of the tower I don't really know what it's called but it looks really cool and the orange part here we're gonna also have a spice a spike roof on top of that so it turns out to be a really fine building here and this top part here will be a rookery where we will have ravens or pigeons and stuff to uh, to send letters and stuff. I'm also gonna have some nice stormers here. I tried to do dormers on the corners here for this one just to be a little bit unique but I realized that the tower isn't big enough for that because I saw some pictures of that and it looked super cool. Uh, so I wanted to try that out but as I said the tower wasn't big enough to make that look good. I'm just going for some normal dormers on the side here. Okay guys, we're down here, first person, we're gonna take a small walk through through this whole area here and just take a look, embrace what we've done today. Just look at that tower there, isn't that really cool? I really like the small balcony we have up there, the small wooden balcony, looks super cool. And also gives the maester an ability to actually like look down uh, on the lords and stuff, which will be in this orange building here. And also kind of protect everything and just have an overnight, overall nice view of this area here. So. I think that's a really cool position, I really like the small addition there. Let's get in here, shall we? Uh, everything is kind of connected to this door here, everything we've done is through this door. So as, as I've said, this is just kind of like corridors just to get around this place here, but we use a little bit of storage here. The first room, very basic, we can get to into the master's tower here, we're gonna get to that later on. We're gonna go further on here, we should get to some storage and just a small like area to be in. And then we can get into the battery where we have all the ale, the beer, all the vine and stuff like that. Very cool, very small room, I've showed you this before so I'm not going to go into detail here. But then we have the tower, battle tower here. Uh, which we did in the live stream so if you want to check it out, make sure to go uh, down in my videos and just see if you can find it down there. Shouldn't be too hard. So then we built all of this here which leads up to another floor here. Which is just for... Mainly like storage, but also for defensive purposes. So we have a little bit of armor and weapons sort of here. And then we can kind of get to this uh, crenellation here overlooking. Very cool, nice defensive position here, I think. And the view from like down here up to the tower and with all of the leaves and stuff. This looks really, really nice in my opinion. I think it's a really cool area to be in. Anyway, we can go further on here. We have this small upper deck here with more storage, which you guys seems to seem to really enjoy enjoying and 
live stream. It looks super cool, adds a nice little detail here and breaks up a very open room otherwise. And then we have just a small room to be in over here where you can have a cup of coffee or tea or something, you know. And possibly for soldiers being on guard, they could go over here relax a little bit. And, uh, you know, anyway, I don't know. <laughs> and then we can go up even more, more here and... There's nothing too much happening in this tower here because it's very limited spacing in here but we have a little bit of arrows and stuff stored in here and then we can go all the way up and then we have uh, the nice granulation here and the matriculation where we have arrows hits in the ground so you can shoot straight down on your enemies in case of an attack which is super cool and a really defensive uh, position here so that's something I really want to try to build in my, a lot of my castles and a lot of my uh, defensive battlements area is to have these arrows that's in the ground so you can shoot straight down which is super cool but let's go straight further down here into the castle and get into the maester's tower shall we just gotta walk all the way down here and uh, even one more yes and then we can go all the way back here and as I said we had this door here which leads into another piece of storage uh, which is just like normal storage but in here we can get to the Maester's Tower. So now we're actually inside of the tower, but you can't really tell because of all the stone and stuff. But if we now go up the staircase here, we can get to the first level here, which is the Maester's Reading Area. No, this is his potion area, I'm sorry guys. Uh, he has a lot of potions stored here, medicine, elixirs and stuff like that, all stored here. Because uh, Maesters in the medieval times, or Masters as it's called in newer English, were used to use as healers or doctors and stuff as well as being wise people so up here he has a reading area with a lot of books, all the scrolls and people there are like books that people normal people wouldn't really have access to so uh, yeah this is kind of like his private library where he possibly have some some uh, illegal legal reading stuff for people that can't really that are not allowed for everyone to read if you know what I mean <laughs> anyway now we're up in his living quarters and this is really nice and I'm so happy how all this turned out here we have a small balcony in the back here just very simple here oh and then we have a nice room in here where we have a big fireplace open floor plan so this fireplace can heat up this whole area here uh, so yeah we have just a small seating area nice details on the walls here we can go up we have a small kitchen here, uh, which is kind of the, the maester's private kitchen. He makes himself some food, can sit here and eat. Uh, very cool stuff. Then in here we have his bedroom, where he has a small chamber for a pot to do his thing on. Just overall nicely detailed. I like the, the feeling it has. It's very positive, very has a nice vibe to it. And also over here we have almost like an office where. Uh, where in case like the Lord wanted to speak with the Maester or someone were sick, need, had a problem, they needed to know something, they would get in here and chat to the Maester in this room here. Nice view outside the window here, you can't really see it because it's so tight in here, but yeah, you can see it's very cool. And then we can go further up and then we have like this small tea room which you guys suggested in the stream, which is just a small like hanging out area I suppose where you know, they can play some chess, drink some tea, and don't really bother about too much. And up here we have the rookery where we would have ravens and stuff. So you can see I've tried to make some kind of uh, cages for the ravens inside here. And then we have this uh, thing here where you can like let the ravens go out here to, to deliver uh, letters and stuff like that overall. So we have some fish here to feed them, stuff like that. It's overall really nice simple room I think and that is all we had time to do for this episode here and I really hope that you guys enjoy this I'm super stoked myself I'm getting lost here I want to get my way down <laughs> uh, it's super I really like how it turned out I think it's super cool and I really like how I've evolved as a builder through this massive castle we've been building here and I just think that the overall style we're going for now is really cool so please let me down know down below guys what you think of today's episode and the castle overall anyway guys thank you so much for watching i really do hope you enjoyed if so make sure to smack that like button and if you haven't done it already make sure to subscribe it's been Vigo man and i'm out